Here are the reasons why I chose to go into internal medicine. Number one is that you get to take care of patients from start to finish. You get to have somebody who comes in with a complaint like abdominal pain, work on their diagnosis, come up with their diagnosis, take care of them, and then discharge them. Number two is that there's lots of organ systems that you get to learn about and take care of, and thus your job very rarely gets bored. Next is the amount of problem solving that's involved. Let me have a patient who comes in with one complaint that I've diagnosed, and then one day their labs are completely erratic, and now I have to do more problem solving and investigation into that specific situation. Number four is the amount of flexibility. As an internal medicine doctor, you can choose to be a general hospitalist like myself currently. You can also choose to be a specialist. For example, I'll now be training as a cardiologist where I get the opportunity of taking care of patients as a consultant in the hospital. And then finally is the quick training. Compared to something like a surgeon who may have anywhere from five to seven years after residency, internal medicine just requires three years after medical school. You can choose to have no more training or like myself, go into three more years of additional training to be a specialist like a cardiologist. Now, if you guys enjoyed that breakdown and behind the scenes and you want to follow me further on my journey, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and follow for more content just like this one.